Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all the fun new Halloween items available at Dollar Tree. Now this video is gonna focus on the regular Dollar 25 items. I will not be showing any plus items in this particular video. If you're interested in plus items, I do have a separate video on that already on my channel. Please feel free to check it out. Here by the front of the store, they have a ton of wall decorations. There's a lot of wood signs in here, MDF signs, but they've also got some cute uh, felt characters and uh, there's some garlands and some paper decorations too. But the wood signs, I think, are actually a pretty good deal at a buck twenty-five. Most of them are pretty big and there's a lot of designs to choose from. They've got witches, pumpkins, skeletons, you name it, it's probably in here. One of the ones that I like here are these multi-piece hanging signs. There's a jack-o'-lantern that says trick-or-treat here with a little spider potion bottle and uh, bat below it. There's also one with a large spooky bat. This one says Happy Halloween and it has a little pumpkin potion bottle and spider below it. And there's a third version with a skull with roses. It says enter if you dare with a little eyeball, tombstone, and bat on it. And this is one of the fortune telling signs. It says welcome psychic tarot card readings. Really like these signs here too. This one says Happy Halloween. It's got like a 3D pumpkin on it. And the one next to it, this one's really nice. It's got a fabric background on it. I love the muted color scheme on this. It says Trick or Treat in glittered letters. And there's a cute one on the end here that says Happy Halloween with a uh, cat that's done in a 3D effect. Again, it's layered. At the top, here's another cute one. This one uh, says RIP Beware and it's got a nice little skeleton on it. And here are a couple more skeleton signs. This one says Happy Haunting to All and to All a Scary Good Fright. There's also one back here that has a nice vintage looking skeleton. This one just says enter if you dare. They also have a lot of nice outdoor decorations like signs, fencing, and tombstones. We'll look at those next. Okay, so these are kind of neat. They are little pieces of uh, plastic fencing. You get two posts in each set with a little chain that goes between them. You can either choose from the uh, set here with bats on it, which is kind of neat looking. And there's a second style here that has kind of a red and black looking spider. You buy a few of these and just place them side by side. You've got an instant Halloween fence. We've also got some nice large uh, styrofoam tombstones here. These would cost you so much more than a buck twenty-five anywhere else. Honestly, this is a really good buy. You can get one with a skull and crossbones on it that says R.I.P. And there's another one here that looks like it's got a Grim Reaper on the top. This one says Beware. And another style of fencing. Uh, you can see it's got a skull and crossbones design on it. This is black plastic with some kind of like a silver metallic paint on it. It looks really nice actually. And you see the spikes on the bottom where you can kind of press this down into the ground. Again, buy several pieces and you can create a fencing effect. They also have some outdoor signs here. Again, these have stakes on the bottom so you can press them down into the ground. This one says beware and go back. And there is a second version here that says danger. It looks like it's being held up by a skeleton hand. Some cute wall hangings here made out of fabric. These are very kid friendly, very kind of cute. Uh, there's a little cat here with a pumpkin, uh, a ghost with the word boo. Those are made of layered felt. Uh, the witch here, she's actually part wood, part fabric. Her skirt is fabric. And there's also a felt jack-o'-lantern. Across the back wall, they've got all kinds of decorations. Uh, there's a lot of tinsel decorations, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts. Uh, they have hanging skeletons, large ones, small ones. Uh, there's some nice yard stakes, including some vintage style ones that we'll definitely take a look at. I see some creepy decorations like uh, faux spiders and bats and rats. Uh, they've got a bunch of different bones and skulls. There's some caution tape type decorations. I see some neat crystal balls. There's all kinds of things. There's also some hanging witch, ghost, and pumpkin head decorations that we'll take a look at. I love these vintage style Halloween yard stakes. These are all made out of wood and they have great looking characters on them. You can either get the cat, which I like. That's my favorite actually out of the three. There's a pumpkin here, which looks a little weird with the mustache. I don't understand why they put the mustache on it. And there's also a cute looking skeleton. These are great buy at $1.25. There's a few more yard stakes here that are kind of cute. There's one with a, a Grim Reaper on it. This has a little bit of glitter on it. There's a cute pumpkin head. There's one over here with a bat that says Witch's Brew Served Daily. One with a candy corn that says Treats. And there's also a cauldron that says Stop By for a Spell. There's also a vampire in here too. So let's see, it looks like they've got some plastic chains up there. One's kind of painted to look like metal. It's kind of silvery. There's another one next to it. I think that glows in the dark. It looks like it does. Also have some large plastic skeletons here. There's both uh, two kinds, actually. There's a natural looking one here. There's also a rainbow one down below. And they've got some large hanging tinsel decorations. They're sets of three jack-o'-lanterns or ghosts. And these are plastic caution tape decorations. These are cute little wood tabletop signs. They're just the right size for a tiered tray. You can get one here that says, Hey Boo, with a glittered ghost on the top. There's one that says, Hello Pumpkin, with a glittered jack-o'-lantern. And one that says, Trick or Treat, with a glittered witch hat. It's also kind of a nice tabletop sign. Again, it's made out of wood. It says, Pick Your Poison, and there's some little cutout-shaped uh, uh, poison bottles on it. I remember seeing these here last year, these little glittered skulls. They have LED color changing eyes in them. They look kind of neat when they're wet up. Uh, the ones last year did come with batteries. I don't think these have batteries in them though. I can't seem to get these to work. Uh, you can choose from three different colors here. They've got a black version, an orange one, and there's also kind of a purple fuchsia colored one. 
Found some big creepy spiders here. Uh, these are solid plastic, though. They're not uh, poseable, so you can't bend the legs or anything. There's some more spiders in here. Now, these are flocks, so they've got kind of a fuzzy surface to them. You can either get a larger single spider, or there's uh, sets of two here, or two smaller ones. And in the next bin here are plastic rats. These are really creepy. They're about life size. They're pretty detailed, actually, for the buck 25. Very spooky looking. And in the next bin is another light-up item. These little jack-o'-lanterns have color-changing lights in them, just like the uh, glittered skulls do. Again, this is an item that they had last year, although they don't seem to have batteries this year, which is weird. I mean, these had batteries in them last year. I remember trying them out in the store. Uh, so that kind of sucks. You have to add those. But they do look kind of neat when they're lit up. And the next box has little plastic bats in it. Again, these have some decent detail, you know, for the price point. They're not bad. They've got red beady eyes, which are kind of creepy looking. There are also hangers on the tops of these, so you can, like, tie a string to them or something, hang them from the ceiling or from your porch or wherever you want to display them. These plastic chains are kind of creepy, too. Uh, they're really lightweight, though. They look heavy, but they're not. These sets of giant eyeballs are kind of creepy, too. You get two in each pack here. They've got a couple different styles, uh, both kind of spooky if you want to create your own kind of monster. Maybe stick these in bushes or something so, you know, it looks like something's looking out at you. Next item here are little plastic crystal balls. These uh, have a nice rainbow finish on the surface. It's very pretty. Great if you want to do like a fortune teller or maybe kind of a witch decor theme. Next box has some uh, skulls in it. These are some of the bones. They have a ton of bones here. You'll see as we go along uh, lots of different body parts, but these are the skulls. I think they're the largest ones that they've got, actually. And next we have some feet here. Again, I told you there's a lot of body parts. And down here are some hands. They have uh, two versions. One that glows in the dark. That's this green colored one here. And then there's another one here that doesn't have a glowing effect. And next to them, we've got some little bags of miniature skulls here. Very creepy looking. It looks like you get maybe, what, eight in here, I think. It looks like about eight. Yeah, these would probably be nice for crafting. And there is a third skeleton hand style here. This one, I think, honestly, is the spookiest of all three. It looks the most realistic. It might be a little on the small side, but I think it looks more realistic than the other two. This big box here has a bunch of little tinsel decorations in it, little like uh, tabletop size decorations. They've got cute little ghosts in here. There's jack-o'-lanterns and they've got these nice little witch hats. They actually have a bunch of tinsel decorations and I'll show you some larger ones in a moment. More plastic skulls here. These come in white, purple, and green. The purple and green are kind of metallic. They've got kind of a shine to them. And the next box has large plastic long bones. Another nice kind of prop for like a cemetery scene or maybe even you could use it with a costume, I guess, depending on what you're dressed up as. And the next bin has flock skulls in it. You can either get black or green. We've got some creepy cloth here. This is really thin, kind of like gauze. Also kind of frayed along the edges. These measure 30 by 72 inches. And they've also got that pull apart spider webbing in white, black, green, and purple. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the larger tinsel decorations. I've actually got a whole bunch of them down here on the bottom shelf. These are pretty nice for the buck 25. They're pretty big. I like the cat here. He's kind of cute. He's got a big uh, glittery orange uh, bow around his neck and bright green eyes with a little purple hat. Uh, there's also a couple witch hats here that uh, say boo on them. They're done in black and purple or black and silver. I think all of these are on plastic frames. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell with the tinsel, but it doesn't feel like they're metal. I think they're plastic underneath. Next up are a couple of jack-o'-lanterns. There's one with the uh, witch's hat on his head, and there's also one with just a green stem. They're both kind of nice. Uh, and a little ghosty here, a little smiling ghost. That's kind of cute. Uh, they also have a spider here, which is kind of cute, kind of spooky. I don't know. He's got uh, those funny kind of googly eyes that, you know, kids would like. But uh, he's also got fangs on him, so I don't know. He's kind of creepy. And on the end is a bat with uh, red eyes. This is also kind of creepy. The wings on this kind of move a little bit. Here are a couple more tinsel bats. These are done in orange and black and purple and black, and they have those movable eyes on them. Got some spooky hanging decorations up here. These are basically plastic heads that are wrapped in kind of like that gauzy sort of fabric, kind of uh, torn at the bottom too, to kind of give it a creepier look. They have a uh, skeleton or a grim reaper kind of wrapped in a gray fabric. There's also this pumpkin head that has an orange and black fabric body. And they have a little ghost that's got more of a solid fabric, not really gauzy like the other two. Some nice Halloween party items here on this end cap. They've got uh, neat looking serving trays and spooky drinkware. This is a pretty nice uh, large wood sign. It says uh, Apothecary Shop, a Cabinet of Curiosities, and there's all kinds of creepy things on it, like a skull and uh, a snake and owl. There's also a couple little signs over here. This one's kind of nice with the jack-o'-lantern and the moth on it. Uh, these have frames on them. There's also another one back here with a skull and a spider. These are pretty nice. I love these skull-shaped serving trays. Uh, they would be great for like a Halloween party. They're just made of plastic, but they are pretty big. They do have some nice detail in them, and the colors are pretty nice too, actually. I like this kind of rainbow, almost like an oil slick colored one. They also have a shiny silver metallic one, and there's a black one here too. Nice spooky way to serve little, you know, appetizers or snacks or maybe cookies or desserts or something. 
Up here's another spooky serving item. These are sets of skeleton hand tongs, uh, tongs for food. They have them in white, black, and the third set here looks like it glows in the dark. These skeleton hand flutes would also be great for Halloween party. They just, they look really kind of creepy and spooky with the skeleton hand bases. You can get these in black, purple, and that same kind of rainbow finish like the serving platter. So this whole aisle is devoted to like Halloween party stuff and trick-or-treating items. Uh, they've got all kinds of like plastic cup sets. There's little containers to hold like food or treats. They've got serving trays in here. There's a bunch of pails, both plastic and metal, that you could use, you know, to give a little gift in. Or maybe some of the larger ones maybe could be used uh, for trick-or-treating pails. They've also got a lot of party favors in here. Nice things to give out to kids at like Halloween parties or maybe even to give out to trick-or-treaters. Love these felt garlands here. These measure 59 inches. They have really cute designs on them. This one has little ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns, and bats on it. Uh, there's a second one here that says Happy Halloween, and it's got little cats and a raven and a spider on it. There's also a third one with the smiling skeletons done in black and white felt. We also have some sets of felt cutouts that you could use for craft projects. They've got a cute little black cat here, and there's a plain pumpkin. These are both sets of 12. Here's some creepy chair covers. They've got uh, one that looks like a skeleton here, and there's also another one that looks like a jack o' lantern. That one's kind of cute. But down here's a lace table runner. It's got a black uh, spider and spider web design in it. It's not the thickest table runner, but you know, it's not too bad for $1.25. They've got some large plastic serving pieces here. This witch hat is kind of neat. I think it's supposed to be like a chip tray, but you could probably put candies or other things around it if you want. There's also a couple plastic serving trays here. This purple one has a bat design around the outside, and there's also a black version with a spider design. And the plastic serving bowl next to it here is kind of neat. It's got like a wavy kind of pattern around the outside, like they've kind of bent the edges. Oh my goodness, these are so creepy. Look at these spider-shaped serving trays. I mean, they're kind of neat looking, but they just, they're also kind of spooky looking, right? They're just plastic, but they've got a little bit of metallic paint on them. This one has some copper on it. There's another version here with some silver. I love these little metal pails. They're so cute. They've got great little designs on them. They're bright and colorful. They'd be perfect to give somebody a gift for Halloween. You could stuff them full of little goodies, uh, candies or whatever, and give them kind of like a gift basket. There's some sets of plastic tumblers here for Halloween. Uh, these are four piece sets. You get four cups. The orange set here has a haunted house on it. It says happy Halloween. And there's a purple set that says boo with a skeleton black cat and spider. Here's some more plastic cups. These are like stemless wine glasses, uh, and they've got various little sayings and images on them, like jack-o'-lanterns, bats, and witch hats. They've also got some plastic canisters here with various Halloween sayings on them, like witches brew, potions, and poisons, zombie repellent. These jack-o'-lantern cups are really cute. They've got uh, witch hat lids on them that come off, and there's also a plastic reusable straw that comes with each one. They also have a second version here that I think is a crystal ball with a witch hat on it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really like this one that much. I think the jack-o'-lanterns are definitely much cuter. This end cap has a lot of window clings and door decorations like door covers. There's also some really nice large uh, jointed skeletons here. Let's take a look at those. Skeletons are actually a pretty good buy at a buck twenty-five. They are three feet tall and poseable. You can move the arms and legs around. They're made of a hard plastic, so they're pretty durable. They'll last from year to year. You can either get them in white or there's an orange. And there's also this green colored one that actually glows in the dark. These are some of the wall decorations. They're basically large pieces of plastic with images printed on them. Uh, this one's kind of creepy. It's got skeletons that look like they're peering through boards across a window. There's another one here. It looks like a bloody window. It says, keep out. Uh, they've got one here with like caution tape on it and spiders that goes over a door. There's another one here for a door that has uh, like boards across it that say, keep out. Here's another large skeleton decoration. Uh, this one is jointed too. You can move his arms, legs, and head around, uh, but it's made of paper. It's not plastic like the other ones. Here's some more of those 18 inch skeletons like we saw earlier up on the wall. I think I kind of like the glow-in-the-dark version of this one better, though. And these are some skull and pumpkin-shaped uh, LED tea lights. They've got more solar-powered steak lights in. These are the Halloween designs, and they've got a ton of them. I actually kind of like these little lights. I think they're a nice idea to light the uh, walkway up to, like, your door, you know, for trick-or-treaters. They've got uh, cute designs here. I like the jack-o'-lantern. I think that's my favorite. They've also got little ghosts and skulls here. We've got some sugar skulls here that are technically Day of the Dead, but they also work for Halloween. And in the back there are some tombstone-shaped lights, an orange one that says eek, there's a purple one that says R.I.P. with a bat on it, and a green one with a skull and crossbones that says boo. There's also some spooky black lantern-shaped ones that have uh, skeleton and jack-o'-lantern designs. There's a whole bunch of little decorations on these shelves. Uh, there's some nice fabric birds, I see some little signs, a lot of resin figures. Check out these cute little holiday birds. These are a lot like the ones that Target and Walmart have been putting out for the last few years. But of course, these are a lot less expensive. They're pretty cute. They're made of felt uh, over, I think, styrofoam probably. And they've got uh, plastic legs. They're dressed up in different outfits. There's a Frankenstein bird here, one that looks like a witch. There's one that looks like a mummy here, but he's got little bats on his head. There's one dressed up like a jack-o'-lantern. And I think this last one's supposed to be a bat. 
A couple of them are made a little funny, so you have to kind of pick through them to find a good one, but they do have some nice ones in here. And next to the birds here are some ceramic eyeballs. These are kind of creepy looking. Uh, looks like they come in two colors. You can either get blue or green. There are some little resin pumpkins here. Some are decorated like jack-o'-lanterns. They have faces on them. And some have little haunted house and bat scenes. There are also some little resin skulls here with uh, birds on them, ravens or crows, and some florals. It looks like uh, roses, actually. You can either get one here with pink roses, which I think is kind of pretty. This is actually kind of nice looking. Or there's uh, a second version here with, uh, it looks like dark purple, maybe black roses on it. This one's definitely spookier looking. These are cute too. They've had these for a couple of years now. They're glass jack-o'-lantern votive holders or lanterns. You can put a little candle in there and they'll light up. You can either get it in orange or clear. There's some spooky looking book props down here. Now these are not book boxes. They don't actually open up, uh, but they still look kind of neat. They've got very spooky looking covers. First one here is titled Mastering Malevolence, a detailed guide to malice, mischief, and evil deeds. And it's got some spooky eyes with a skull and some hands on the front. And there's also one here with a fortune telling theme. It says Secrets of the Stars and there's a crystal ball with some hands above it on the front. And the last one here says Crystal Magic, a mystical compendium to crystals, stones, and geodes. And of course it has a lot of pictures of crystals all over the cover. There's more plastic skulls down here. Uh, these actually come mounted on little plastic stands, so they're upright. Uh, they're multicolored. You can either get one that's kind of green and purple or one that's purple and orange. I kind of like the idea of the skull on the stand, but I don't know if I'm crazy about the rainbow colors. I kind of wish these were more natural looking. I guess you could always repaint it. I would probably repaint it. There's some spooky wood tabletop signs down here. These are shaped like coffins. They have coffin shaped frames around them. And they've got creepy little designs on them. Like this one's got some pumpkins with a skull and some spiders. There's also one here with a cloche with some skulls in it and some spiders. Also a raven on top of the cloche there. And the last one here is plain black. I guess you're supposed to write your own little spooky saying on it with like a white paint pen or something, or maybe do a little drawing on it. That's more items on this end cap. There's a lot of candles, candle holders, little lanterns, and uh, light up LED figures. There's also some wood tabletop signs and some creepy looking plastic coffin cases. Oh my goodness, I love these little ceramic lanterns. They have uh, both a jack-o'-lantern and a ghost style here. You basically just put a candle, real candle, or an LED candle behind it, and it makes the face light up. They're really adorable. And there's another cute little ceramic light-up ghost here. This one has an LED light on the inside, so you just switch them on on the bottom. I will turn them on here so you can see them lit up. There's two versions of these. One has a bat design kind of cut into it uh, and no mouth. And the other one has star shapes along with an open mouth. Here he is with the light switched on. You can see his face and the little bat cutouts lit up. Very cute. Lots of nice little votive candles here for Halloween. There's a black and white striped one, one with a jack-o'-lantern face, and uh, one that's candy corn colored. And there's another ceramic lantern over here. This one is shaped like a Frankenstein head. You can see the hole in the back there where you place the candle on the inside. There's some more candle holders down here. Now these are made of metal and they're for taper candles. So the thinner, taller type candles. They've got cute little uh, cut out metal designs in the middle here. You can either get one with a couple bats or a witch or my favorite, there's actually a black cat in here. I'll probably get a couple of these. I always seem to end up buying stuff with Halloween black cats on it. Uh, probably because I've had black cats as pets in the past, but they're just, they're cute, you know, so I'll add them to the collection. These little plastic cases are kind of neat. They are coffin shaped with skeleton decorations on the front. Both of them have a rainbow iridescent finish to them. You can either get one that's a clear plastic or one that's a darker kind of black plastic. You can maybe fill these with candies and give them as a gift or just use them as a decorative piece. Some more wood tabletop signs here. These are shaped like mason jars or potion jars and they've got labels on them like ghastly ghosts and ghouls, bone broth, and magic crystal shards. More spooky candles here. These are sets of three tea lights shaped like skulls. You get one black one, one gray, and one white skull in the set. These are a bit taller than regular tea lights, so I think they'd probably last a bit longer. They've got some black and white foam pumpkins here for carving, uh, like for crafts, and they've also got some nice carving sets for real pumpkins. There's some new kitchen towels here for Halloween. This one's got some jack-o'-lanterns on it and candy corns. It says death by candy. There's also one with a spider and spider web design. This one says creep it real. And there's one with a witch's cauldron, and it says, uh, this is where the magic happens. And there's a fourth design down here that's really cute. It's got costume dogs on it, and it says, we'll do tricks for treats. I'll take this one out so you can see it a little bit better. It is really cute. The corgi, I think it's a corgi on here, is really adorable, dressed up like a devil. Uh, there's another dog, a black and white dog, dressed up like a gnome. And on the back, it looks like there's a poodle here, dressed up like a superhero. 
few more small tabletop signs here, wood tabletop signs. This one says, a spooky witch and her boo haunt here. And there's a, uh, another one next to it says, have a spooktacular Halloween with a nice big pumpkin on it. On the other side here is one with a big spider, a creepy spider and spider web on it. It says spider venom. And the last one says, tis the season to be spooky. A couple more little metal decorations here. These have rockers on the bottom. So if you tip them a little bit, they kind of rock back and forth. You can choose either from a cute little black cat or there's a ghost here wearing a witch hat and holding the word boo in front of him. Lots more little Halloween resin figures here, mostly pumpkins, but they've got some creepy little skeleton body parts too. Some of the pumpkins have little skeleton hands wrapped around them. Others have sayings on them like boo and eek. These are some pink Halloween items, I guess. Uh, there's skeleton hands here in the shape of a heart with some flowers on them. And there's also one here of a uh, torso with some flowers on it. For those of you that like to decorate little Halloween trees, they do have some here at the Dollar Tree. These are tinsel trees, basically, and they have both orange and black uh, little pine needles, if you will, on them. Now, these are kind of sparse, but you could get two of these if you wanted and put them together to create a thicker tree. They also have some miniature ornament sets here. Uh, they are 16-piece sets, and they have various little textures. Uh, some are glittered, some are ribbed. There's an all-orange set, an all-black set, and then there's one that's kind of mixed fuchsia and purple. There's also some gold threads in here that you can use to hang these up. Now, to go along with those miniature Halloween trees, they do have miniature Halloween tree collars. These are made of metal, and they've got various little sayings on them. There's one here that's kind of a basic galvanized metal, and it's got a black ghost on it that says trick or treat. There's another one painted black with the words Happy Halloween painted in white, along with a little white bat. There's a purple one that says Hocus Pocus, and it has some little black stars on it. And the last one is orange with a white jack-o'-lantern and the words, I put a spell on you. I hope you've enjoyed shopping the Halloween items at Dollar Tree with me today. If you like this video, please take a moment to comment, like, and subscribe below. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.